What if you can create wallpapers like these on your own? You choose the icon, you choose the background color, you choose the icon color. It's called Victorify and with this app you can create your own unique wallpaper. Choose any symbol or icon and then you can choose from one of these presets that have a very good combination of background and foreground color and then you've got your wallpaper. There are a lot of categories that you can choose from. My favorite is actually science but you could go ahead with nature for example choose a leaf Pick a color combination that you like and once you're all satisfied you could go ahead and set it as your wallpaper but before that you can change the size of that object as well. The next one is called orange teal and essentially it is a photo filter application but it's unique because it gives these really cinematic effects. They are cinematic because of the color combinations that they apply to your pictures and they all look really good. So there's orange and teal, there's aqua and brown. There's aqua and orange, there's cold coffee, there's moody brown. So all in all, I think it's a very simple but very well done app. Definitely try it out. And guys, a very humble request. If you're enjoying watching my videos, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. It really helps me sustain the channel and grow. Coming to the next one, see how I can change the brightness just by swiping on the top edge of my screen? Or how about that battery indicator on the top edge? The app is called Super Status Bar and with this app you can customize how your status bar behaves. So if you open the app and go into status bar you could go ahead and change the colors but that actually is a paid feature. For now it will match your current application but just for less than two dollars you get all the features. You can change the functionality of your battery bar you know the height and the um, width of that battery bar and you can change the colors. So if it's fully charged, what should it show? If it's too less of a charge, what should it show? So all of these are applicable. Something that I found really useful was gestures. I mean, imagine just double tapping that status bar does something. Like if I double tap, it just turns off my screen and locks it. Or a single tap can take a screenshot or you know, it can cause split screen or it can open a particular application. It can expand notifications, whatever. There's just so much functionality possible. So I think it's definitely an app to try. And talking about gestures, let's talk about the next app. Let's say I'm on Instagram and I just want to call my notification panel. I can do that without reaching the top edge of the screen. So let's say I'm on Play Store and I want my notification panel. Just a simple tap at the bottom edge of the screen calls it. It's that simple. And you can use this app called Gesture Plus. Now the free version allows you to do that without any issue. So, you know, single press and it opens a notification center. You can customize this, you know, you can launch a specific application if you want. You can turn on the flashlight. You know, you can call your Google Assistant. All of that's there. There are also some other functionalities that you can try. I found the notification center to be the most useful. There's also a long press that you can configure, but that's a paid version. And again, guys, it's hardly $2. Definitely worth a try. Coming to the fifth app in the list is InShot. You know, videos have become very popular. And now with the lockdown, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are trying to create content. InShot is a great application and it does offer a lot of features for you to create videos that are really good. And there are a lot of aspects that you can change of the video. For example, you can change the speed with which the video plays and that can be applied differently to different parts of your video. You can apply text effects and there are a whole bunch of text presets that you can use from. Of course, you can change the color and you can change the font size. You can apply a couple of text effects as well. Of course, you can then overlay that text over any video and then you can stretch it uh, for as much time as you want. There are also a bunch of filters and effects that you can apply either to one video or to all pieces of videos that you have as a part of your editing process. So as you can see, it does make a lot of things simple. However, I do recommend that you also give Adobe Premiere Rush a try. Uh, you might like that better than InShot as well. Point being, you can edit pretty much everything right from single videos that you add to your project or to the entire video altogether. The free version will let you export videos, but there would be a watermark. So if you want to remove that, there is a small price to pay for it. The next app is actually a game. It's called Fast Like a Fox, and I love it for a couple of reasons. One, the graphics. They're really good, very minimal. It's got that polygon effect that I really love from a creative standpoint. Second, the music. The background score is really nice. So if you're playing this game with, you know, some a pair of headphones, the experience is really, really unique. And thirdly, 
It's just so simple yet so challenging that makes it really great. Also, there are a bunch of episodes or levels that you could play through. So it continues to be very interesting. And the last app in the list is actually an icon pack called Crispy Dark Icons. And a lot of people have been questioning me about this icon pack in a lot of the videos that I've been doing in the past because I've been using these icons. This icon pack is one of the best icon packs that I've ever used. They're really high quality. There are a lot of them. So this would have you pretty well covered. And the app does give you suitable wallpapers that you can apply with this icon pack. And that's it guys. Those were the top seven apps that you should try in the month of April 2020. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.